so we're going to join the rapid arena starts in half an hour i'm going to make sure that i attend right from the start so this is a 10 minutes zero increment game so we're based on what we've researched we've played a few arenas um since our goal of reaching top 20 just to see what the um situations like and see if we can work out any strategies key strategies are as follows you have to win kind of quick but i don't want to turn into one of them so i'm going to just do my normal play and hopefully get advantages in quite a majority of the games as we're going forward so that's the plan you have to play many games so be prepared so you need that chest stamina and if you lose shake it off and just go into the next game fresh and the best thing of all is uh, don't panic just enjoy the games now based on the games that i did play in our um, test arenas uh, my average for the blitz is like landing around 124th yep and for the rapid landing around 167 on average so in order to work towards the top 20 i'm going to do it in incremental steps so for this rapid arena I'm going to aim to be at least 166 at the end of the tournament the tournament lasts for 57 minutes so that is the target for us initially we are still working towards achieving the top 20 goal but to really keep an interest in it to be realistic because the players that play on here like i say there's a high percentage maybe 65 percent from my own study 65 percent um potentially are really really too strong for this um rating arena and the other 40 you know of 40 45 percent whichever or 35 percent um are basically um playing true and um you get a good balanced game with those types of players so this is why i'm looking initially at just going for the average scoring that i would get without actually busting a gut to try and perform in any way shape and then we can work our way up towards the potentially the top 20 and that is the challenge okay we're ready let's put in a good show oh i've cut the screen off a bit let's push here let's just block the diagonal for this ninja bishop could even push this one center but the top of the snake will get taken so i'm not going to waste any time over that and he's pushing like he wants to open up the kingside area which doesn't really look too good for them does it i'm actually capturing so either way whichever pawn he takes with it's not uh, in my eyes a very clever situation but we have to do something about it let's bring the bishop here attacking the queen he's brought the knight through knight can jump to this square but is there anything behind it queen can come here We could do that, but he's just going to drop his pawn, isn't he? So, should we try it? Let's go here. And then if the knight comes here, then we can go for a checkmate. He's blocked the passageway, so we can't get away with that. Could sacrifice the bishop. Yeah. Um shall we just develop the bishop here we might put a check on us let's go here okay so i don't really want to leave my queen here sat there he's, he's going to go and castle maybe i could have gone here to um stop the castling for a bit so he's going to go and castle now so we might have lost a bit of tempo there he's gone for a queen attack well, we did say we'd potentially do that didn't we let's go here so you got another piece coming to attack the bishop not at this moment okay so the queen's doing nothing there just bring it supporting so we can go and castle let's go and castle now it's looking to double up to attack the bishop
Yep, like we said, doubling up to attack the bishop. Could bring the queen here, looking for the bishop attacking his bishop on that side, but maybe we can develop our knight first, knight through, or bring the rook maybe just to support. Yeah, let's do that while we're thinking. Queen's moved off of the potential threat from the rook attacking, but also you have to watch the queen moves. It's targeting this area here, so maybe the knight is then going to jump to this square. Yeah, putting pressure onto this pawn. So our knight could jump here as a blocker, which would upset their little action for now. Let's do that, just block the passageway for now. knight might still come here just to attack the knight but then it gets taken so can get taken twice bishop or the knight obviously the bishop wouldn't take because it would be a back rank checkmate so you're looking at doubling up what is with this rook move can the knight get a fork knight take here pawn takes Mm -hmm. could bring our knight into the game couldn't we now but they don't have that threat let's just develop the knight link up the rooks doesn't like our knight being there so bring the knight here to replicate Does capture just replicating might have missed an opportunity there because I could have got that knight for free couldn't I because the pawn could have taken I would have had a fork on his queen and his knight that's with moving too fast I should have just taken my time hey do the calculation I'm just doing single calculations that's what it is I'm just doing one move calcs just to get things out of the way Okay, so why is his rook moved? It's moved because he wants to move his knight. So his knight's going to be moving. And he's probably looking for this outposty type thing here. So we could put the pawn here to stop that. Really want to get my pawns doubled up, really. And if we go here, his knight comes there. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's do that. I want, I want to get my rooks doubled up if we're playing this um, dodging game in the centre. Does he want to get this pawn pushed down so his white square bishop can come down? Don't want to overthink it. That's probably why I was doing single calcs. Just trying to really keep it simple. But that would have been a good benefit, that, that pawn putting the fork on. I would have won a knight. Yeah, his knight moves, so his knight can be taken for, f well it's not for free actually, the pawn takes. So if we take his pawn takes, then he's got the, he's opening up the bishop line. If we attack with our pawn, well, either this pawn here maybe. So don't really want to open the dark squares, mind you the pawns are protecting those dark squares. Although he could push the pawn, we take, then he's got the, yeah. So if we go here, then the pawn is, oh, hold on though. If we attack the knight, the knight takes, pawn takes, then the bishop takes because he's got the support of the queen. Oh, that's a horse of a different color. Is there nothing I can attack? Can I not attack something? We know the knight was moving, but we didn't know what devastation it was going to cause. So I can move my knight back. I don't need to leave it there to get taken. 
I do that, he's looking for this queen thing that we've mentioned earlier, attacking this area. Knight comes here. If we take his pawn takes, his pawns here supported by his white square bishop. Our rook has access to put a check on his king. His king simply comes there to attack it. We potentially double up. Okay, that's all. I'm not doing any further calculation. Pawn takes, then there's nothing I don't I didn't see anything that could attack that apart from the king and then we said we're going to bring the rook here but <clears throat> there might be something better don't think there is maybe the queen because the rook can't do it by itself there's no, no major situation here really so the king is going to move there it's on a white square white square bishop is there a sacrifice? No, there isn't. The queen's covering this area. Could attack his queen because we've got support from the bishop. So the rook could come here, but then his rook comes in front. We take his rook, his queen's on the white square, supporting the pawn. <sighs> oh, I'll just do the doubling like we said. just do the doubling like we said maybe he's not going to do that because he'd get his rook taken he's eyeing up this square that's what he's looking for so he's got this pawn here looking potentially to cause a bit of trouble mm, we're on four minutes don't want to overthink now get that time back Although really and truly shouldn't be focusing on the clock, forget about the clock. Just try and play a quality game. So yeah, now we did have that, but he's obviously circumventing that now. So we take, maybe his queen takes. don't have to because the queen can come here if the bishop takes then we take with the queen and it's advancing the queen up the board I'm going to do that I don't think that's fancy I think that's a practical move have to be wary because getting your rook trapped is kind of painful as well it's actually gone it's gone with a lazy man move wow he's gone for lazy man chess so we we must be doing something right if he's gone for lazy man chess now what was i looking at now my queen is here i could actually attack his queen but if i did that his bishop takes but then i can take his bishop If I go here, his queen takes, we take with the bishop, bishop's on his rook. If we go there, bishop takes because he doesn't want that, so queen comes here. Yeah, okay, let's attack the queen. I'm on two minutes now, this is not, this is pressure time now, this is like, blitz blitz time yes yeah, so he's taken so the bishop's on the rook he can go to safety just here and he's gone for the exchange um, do I just take straight away rook takes bishop takes and then my rook is stuck up in that corner isn't it damn maybe there's something else I'll oh, just take right so white square bishop 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 bishops again oh my life why am I thinking coming round the back here 
could just lock this down, couldn't I? I'm, just, I'm gonna lock it, I'm gonna lock it down. Yeah. Mm, the terrible bishops. He's got more time to plan stuff now, so I'm just gonna need to move fast and hope that they make a mistake. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's equal all the way. So he's going for exchanges and his rook is in the corner. Let's grab that then. So his king has to come down. So I don't know. I don't think this causes too much trouble for them really. Could end up just being a draw. Just going backwards and forwards with the rook. Because I don't think my bishop's going to get in. Whoa. That's interesting. What's the deal with that? Let's see if we can grab something. It's gonna get his rook's gonna escape because his bishop is gonna go here. So then we'll have to take the rook. Or we can take the pawn whichever way. So he's not having any of that. How do I get my bishop in here? And is there a problem with these pawns coming down? Can I leave my pawns here at the minute? It's just, we've both got white square bishops, so these, my pawns are on dark squares, his pawns are on white squares. But I need to get my, I think I'm going to have to challenge this pawn. Maybe get some space. He's moved down. Yeah, I'm going to challenge this pawn to try and make some space. I'm on 1 minute 45. Damn. Mm. Yeah, just make some space. He's done it. Let's go. Bishop needs to sit in there so to prevent my bishop coming here. Yeah. But we've got all our pawns on dark squares, so there's not much that it can do. Fingers crossed. Potentially we'll look for an exchange and I don't know, we I'm not too sure. A bit of bit of space here for the king, maybe. Because he's gonna have to go up and back and around unless of course he pushes these pawns down. 1 minute 31, come on. Smallest of details, the fact that these are on. Yeah, let's just bring the bishop here. He might have done that right, I'm not too sure, because he's got linked pawns. So he drops in the center there, we take, take, but then we get rid of those pawns and then it's probably a draw, I think. Yeah, so he's um, looking for it to be blocked off the area. If I take, then the pawn takes there, then my king can't get up, so then it's a draw. Or is it because I could move my king up across the other side because his king is further away than ours. Hmm, he's trapped his own king though. Well, no, maybe not. I'm going to take. And just move. Yeah, so he's going to be ahead, actually, moving over towards that side, isn't he? It's a draw. If he keeps going back there. Or if he locks it down. But I'm low on time, so I won't be able to. Let's go across. Go across, down, down. I don't know if this works or not. This is the idea I had, I'm just pushing onto this pawn and I don't think my king can get up though. He's pressing on already. Let's press here. He 
even if I did break through, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I ain't got enough time. I should have settled for a draw. Yeah, I'm settling for a draw. But in these situations, sometimes it doesn't actually go for a draw. It just basically lets you play on. Like this player just may, might not do the same moves. Might just keep going backwards and forwards and it, it don't flag a draw. Which I find very weird. Because you're not doing the same moves. Yeah. Yeah, look, he's doing different moves. Thank you very much. Draw. That'll do. God, we've got to go into the next one. That was... That took ages. Look, people have played like three games and stuff. They can't... <laughs> I don't think it's realistic, honest to God. Wow. We played one game. They've played like two, three. Our target is 166, isn't it? Maybe we might hit, maybe we might hit, I don't know. We've got 38 minutes left yet, so. Uh, yeah, I think we had that game in the pawn fork I move too fast so I'll just slow down a little bit okay forget about that game let's go into this game now and it's that bishop move Knight attacking the pawn. What? Don't tell me he's going for it. He's going for it. Okay. I've, I have seen people make it work. I've made it work myself. You know, the knight, for, knight and a bishop for a rook. Still going for it. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. It's like he's gene himself up to do it. No, he's, he's run. He's run. Let's attack the queen on the pawn. Looking to go for the rook. He looks like he's trying to condense our king area with some fancy stuff. This pawn, when it drops, this bishop can take. So we take the pawn here. He doesn't care about his rook. He just simply drops the pawn. Because he wants the bishop to come here. How do we defend? push the pawn either way the bishop can still come here so that's the square maybe the knight attacks the queen first queen comes down or maybe we push the pawn first because then the bishop is covering this area then if he pushes the pawn knight can come here attacking the queen Queen can't come here now because we've got the bishop on there and also the queen covering this angle. So he has to change that. So good talking to myself. This guy gave this pawn up for free. Yeah, look, he's dropped the pawn now. And now we go with the knight attacking the queen. The knight isn't protected, but it's quite tasty for the queen to think it's going to come and attack it. It can't go there because it gets taken. So he's gone all the way back. So now we can actually go yes we can go with the knight fork with the rook with the bishop attacking the queen it's like a double dose attack of all sorts of stuff going on so before we take the rook is there something else the bishop can actually take this knight opening up his king area and if his queen takes our um if his queen takes our knight then our queen can come here 
with a check on his king. His king has to go into the corner. And that's about it really. So that's an interesting situation. But he does have a diagonal here. Knight can come here. I'm going to take the rook. Yeah. There was no clear end. There probably is after evaluation. But I can't really see it. Would have been nice if the knight did something nice to just get a checkmate type situation. Bishop still does have this angle here, so this pawn wouldn't be able to do anything. Oh, it's actually gone with the... and they've resigned. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, back to the tournament. This is going to be one hefty recording. currently at 50 but I shouldn't really say anything until we get to like the w one minute left in the tournament because as soon as you lose you go back you go down about a hundred places so I'll start the recording when we oh and we're back on Develop the night. What happened there? They paused. Ah, oh, looks like they've lost on purpose or they've resigned, whatever it is. So let's go back in. Well, that's a shame. You do get ones like that. Mind you, they could have a legit, a real reason for actually, you know, cutting out. Maybe they had to go somewhere or somebody's at the door. Food, food's been delivered, you know, maybe the electric went out. We don't know. And then you have the other side of the coin where they're just losing on purpose to keep a low rating. <laughs> you know, all sorts of strange things happen. So I'll start it again when um, another game. Oh, it's come back on. I wonder if that's how, okay, let's go here. And develop the knight. And we'll go with the bishop move. This is something new to me, you know, because of, I don't like that other opening where the knight comes here, because the knight comes here, but now I realize the queen can take that pawn. He can still do it, but as we showed in that previous match, um, I think it's a simple capture, isn't it? And what did we do? Put pressure on the king here with a check and then take the bishop off the board. And I think that is all. Let's castle. These two pawns, like we said, they're feeling brave, feeling strong. They look menacing, so they're going to touch on the knights. So the knights have to do merry dances and we can bring the knight here attacking the pawn it's just that he's got a supporting pawn there could always bring it all the way back so i'll try bringing it back this time before i put it up there but it's got that fear off there but the knight can jump here in fact i should have done that because it doesn't have the dark square bishop anymore so that might have been a bit of an error can i get it back out I'm going to attack the pawn, see if I can get my knight back out of here. But I think he's loving these pawns, so I'm going to grab that pawn, get it out of the way anyway. This knight obviously comes in the centre, his rook's going to be there. Yep, so, oh, not going to take with the knight, obviously. Could pressure the bishop just to give them something to think about. Yep. Like I say, I really sort of want my knight off the ball, off the back here, but I'm going to have to move this pawn maybe. But I don't want to trap this knight, so this pawn needs to move up first because this pawn is going to come down for it. What's he planning? Our queen doesn't have any protection. Oh, let's grab this bishop. And what we were saying, we don't need to do any of that now. We could do this or 
it's now it can go here it can go there we could do that but maybe we do this it's actually attacking our queen i was just going to say our queen doesn't have any protection on it so we need to do that first and then get activated with the bishop it's attacking the, the knight it's take, trying to take advantage of the fact that our knight is on the back which is clever we're aware of it and if we can get it out then that's good if we can't then that's how they've they've beaten us yeah so he's doubling up so we need to get our knight out of there onto at least this square So you can picture the doubling here it's not actually he's going for the bishop so that's okay i think because although he might not be he might be coming for the rook so we need to move the knight oh give it up would you have adam and eve it I wish the other rook was there. We can attack his rook here. He moves to attack our pawn. And then we bring the bishop down here. He then takes the pawn. We take his knight. He takes our rook knight. Ooh. Uh, that's annoying. I can get a rook back maybe, I think. A pawn back. But that's a bit... Mm. He's got rook down rook takes and then the knight is covering this square as well e so he either has to strike and oh he's not striking now let's take this pawn knight takes and then at least the pawn is blocking his advance pawn if he does or the knight can take but i think i well he's not take he's not really interested in our Mm -hmm. now it's got no protection on it this rook needs developing if we develop this rook and then put pressure on that rook at the back does that seem feasible trying to keep it simple this guy's got a few wily ways about themselves maybe the rook drops back now that probably makes sense or gives his king a flight square either way we can push this rook up yeah let's push this rook see if he exchanges we still get the check on the king and then we can move the rook back down or maybe attack the knight here to make it make a decision it's got the check now we've got to be mindful because we're going to get back rank check made if we fall asleep rook here attacking the knight in fact he can back rank checkmate us now so don't want that knight being able to move into this square so let's go here you could tell he was waiting for that one he takes knight can take or the pawn can take if we don't take with the knight then the knight is dead meat because the rook's just going to come down for it so we may as well do that we do have a like a pass pawn type situation going on here Maybe, can we corral it up can we ah out of the mist something occurs we've been trying to the these sort of endings again these are so so really quite hard to do um if we go here no if we push he goes behind our pawn then our rook's gonna have to come here gonna push past pawns want to be pushed puts pressure on the opponent's game yeah so he goes there we go here and just keep pushing and pushing and pushing he can put a check on our king to win a tempo and then he's going to try and get this pawn on the back 
and this this sleeping knight thinks it's clever just sitting waiting to to strike it's going to probably come here work out the knight will take so our knight's doing a good job at the minute then does he come out to come back oh yeah that's a nice one yeah so he's coming for this pawn around the back with the rook making space I'm gonna just keep pushing is he brave enough to go for this pawn I think he's just gonna keep there isn't he so it might be a battle of the knights because our knight can come here he's gone with the knight so, do, 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 do. he moved fast there so what have I fallen into now oh, his knight's gonna come here to attack the rook If we go there, we stop that. But then I suppose his rook can come and attack our knight. And then we can attack his knight. What is actually going on here? I'm going to attack his knight now because our knight is protecting the pawn at the minute. So that's the one that can get promoted and cause the problems. He's moved it so that he's protecting but we're going to actually if we grab this knight then he takes the pawn but we're minor piece up against hmm I don't think I have an option do I yeah I'm gonna to have to take so he then takes the pawn and then we get his rook off the board with a check on his king so we're kind of a minor piece up but the kings need to be moving is it a knight move first? Knight, knight to get this pawn off. Yep, knight, knight. And this king's gonna be quite kind of fast to be able to catch us. Oh, he's got an extra pawn there, you know. He's got an extra pawn. What we got? I think if we push now and his king takes our knight, we push his king chasing the pawn. He's not going to catch the pawn because he's behind it. So he's going to do distraction pawn moves now. There's a big delay. Um, let's go here. Get the queen. Let's put a check on. Let's grab this. Grab this. Less pieces on the board. And they've resigned. Crikey! <clears throat> Number 12. Oh my gosh. Are we going to do the top 20 in this one? It could be, well, it's night, we're 19 minutes away, so shush. Okay, right, just nice and steady. Forget about the the scorings, just play some games. Uh, let's go in the centre here, attack, check. Let's take the queen. Bishop. Castle. Um, develop the knight 
although these palms are coming down aren't they so bring the rook here just get a diagonal with the bishop towards the king area oh missed opportunity let's grab this pawn nice shot man Oh, and it's a pawn for a pawn, isn't it? If we bring the bishop back, maybe attack the bishop. Depends what he does. He's moved. Develop the knight. Oh, missed opportunity again. I've got the bishop right there. Oh, just take my time now. What a two missed opportunity. Oh, I'm annoyed now. Could have polished the game off and I won't have to work so hard now. Hey, yay, yay. Man. Golden opportunities missed. That's the annoying part about, you know, developing as you're going through when we're talking about the beginner, intermediate, advanced level and just trying to make quality moves and the calculation i moved too fast again here and i didn't need to oh yeah yeah he's left the bishop there but he's attacking our bishop jeez what a missed opportunity where can i put this bishop now then i'm going to put it here Can you, Adam and Eve it? Now I have to work so hard. That bishop would have been off. Yeah, he hadn't noticed it and, he, and then he realized. Let's block the bishop here. So annoyed. Right, just focus. Um, he's going for control of, if I go here, his bishop's gonna take that pawn and then, oh, if I go here with the king. Right, let's take Currently the bishop can't attack the king So maybe looking for an exchange down Although the, my knight doesn't look like it's able to get into the game This would be nice, knight, knight Get a fork on the rook Uh, can he read my mind? Is he expecting me to push the pawn, blocking the, my activity for my white square bishop? I believe so. Could potentially still go for the exchange, attacking the rook. What's his white square bishop doing? He's, he's wanting his rook to come here, isn't he? That's what he's wanting to do. So let's do that. Attacking the knight, so we can attack the bishop. Let's attack the bishop. Oh, this is one of those delicate endings again. Look at that. Now, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knight has to block it. Too clever, too clever. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go here. Opposite bishops. Oh no! Oh no! If he takes, we take his. I think it's even with the pawns at the minute. He's got pawn majority on that side, I've got pawn majority on this side. He does take, I take. My pawns are on white squares. His pawn majority looks more menacing than mine, doesn't it? Uh, let's push this. He's got a dark square. There we go. It's 
He's got a nice strong king working for him. Yep. How do we play this? Am I going to be fast enough getting this up? Don't think so actually, his king's king can come there, but mm -hmm. it's going to get that pawn, so we need to get across here. Although these pawns are, yeah, he's going for it anyway. Let's go there. I thought his king would have come down actually. Oh, he's got the pawn. Oh, sugar, real Leonard. Oh, it's all falling down. King, king. And then that's as far as we go, isn't it? King. Making it look good, king. Drops his pawn, take, take. Can't squeeze in there, can't squeeze in there. Bishop can move, Bishop can attack this pawn. King defends. Oh, dear me, I can't believe I let that pawn disappear. I should have moved them earlier, maybe. It's going to, this is his strength area around here, pushing these. Eh? Uh, oh, nah, yeah, because if we go here, then his king can come down for this pawn. I suppose we can go and get this one, but his bishop will come back and defend. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, his king come back. Is he faster faster than me? Oh, is um What? Bishop can come and protect, but he'll get taken, won't it? Oh. Oh no, he can still protect. Some funky coming round this way here. And then he protects the both of them. But if he's protecting them, then maybe we can sort of push this pawn up. 11 minutes left. I'm treating this as the last game. Oh, what what sort of strategy? Am I going to get locked out here? What's the deal? Goes up with his king. Doesn't go up with his king. Oh, he's come for the pawn. I don't think we want to allow that one to go. Delicate, delicate games these have been. Uh, I don't want that one to go, do we? So I'm going to come for this one. They might resign now. Fingers crossed. And we must be in the top 20 and we, we don't have to play another one we must be in the top 20 and we will have hit the goal that we set wow i didn't expect to hit the goal this quickly oh lovely oh, i'll get the king here blocking his access and just push now we've got six minutes so it's not going to take six minutes to get a checkmate here but the longer the game goes on you know nine minutes left oh yeah good definitely hit top 20 surely i'll be gutted if we haven't i don't think we've um queen i could take my time what am i rushing for just make it look like i don't know how to do the ending just take my time Although other people will be racking theirs up, won't they? So that might not be. I'm not playing another one. I've played too many today. Stalemate could happen. Stalemate could happen. OK, 
Okay, so he's playing on, he's playing for the stalemate. So he's got all this area that he can go across now, so let's bring the king down. And again. Doesn't want to go on the back. He's um he's scared of going onto the back. So if we bring the bishop here, he just goes across. If we bring the queen here, he goes back again. If we go there, cutting him off a little bit. Eight minutes left. Yes, come on, we must be in the top twenty, at least nineteen or something. Come on. Uh, so he's got on the back now. He didn't want to go on the back. Um, he was scared of going on the back. Let's give him some space. So queen goes here. He's got all that space to move on the side, so it's not stalemate. King can come here. And then the, he can go there. And then that's checkmate. Seven minutes left. Oh, whichever way. Uh, I, I'm going to click pause and see where we're at. <gasps> we're currently six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm not playing another game. It's got seven minutes. I, I surely can't get knocked that far down out of the top 20. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just going to sit and wait. I know you're probably thinking, well, yeah, you could actually do another one, but I think you have to have won the game within the time scale of the arena. And it's a 10 minutes each way. So basically it's like a 20 minute game. I don't think I'll finish a game within six minutes for it to count for the arena. So there's no point in doing another one now. Oh my God, I'm so chuffed. So we set this um, challenge yesterday to get into the top 20. We did some practice sessions in um, different formats of the arena, Super Blitz, The Blitz and The Rapid. And we came out with an average of around 100 and something. Let me get my book out. Average 124 placing in Blitz and 167 in Rapid. And that's with us not really putting any, you know, major thought process in. Just wanted to see the level of play that we were playing against and see if it was realistic or not to be able to even think of achieving um, the top 20. Um, so we thought, well, we'll start out with going with um, achieving 166 in this a rapid arena based on the reality check that we had and it looks like we have actually achieved the top 20 mark that we focused on and that's within a day so using the beginner intermediate advanced concepts um, obviously does work um, and just keep make, keep practicing those simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board and I think it's not about being scared of those types of endings that we ended up in in <clears throat> quite a few of the games that we played we had the endings that where you could go oh no I can't go any further with this so then you start making mistakes and errors but because we'd made mistakes and errors in our practice games we then knuckled down and really put the thought processes in on these games. I really felt like I was putting a lot of energy into them. Um, I didn't want to make any foolish mistakes, really. I did make an odd few, especially that pawn move, which could could have fought the queen and the knight. Again, that, that was like silly. Um, so I'm not perfect. I'm not a machine. I'm not an engine. I'm, I'm a human being. So I'm really pleased and fingers crossed we have reached the 20 on you know the 20 mark within the 20 top 10 
If we haven't, we'll have to continue on. And it really is quite hard work. You've seen how hard it is. Uh, I'm just hoping that people haven't snuck in now and, and played like five million games and then knocked me off of the pedestal. I surely can't jump that far down now. We'll see. And I'm so happy. 13th. Absolutely fantastic. That is brilliant. Ah, dear me. Yep. So that was a challenge in its own right. It was a difficult challenge because the, the tests that I'd gone through um, earlier yesterday and this morning, um, they were really quite strong and tough. Uh, but like I say, I wasn't putting in my whole all because I, I didn't want to get worked up about, well, not being able to perform in any way, shape. But that practice really did help for this session. And uh, yeah, by all means, seriously. Um, for myself, keep looking at the beginner, intermediate, advanced, tutorial sessions to help keep me motivated and help keep driving my game forward to improve all the time. Forgetting about the clock, but it's so hard to do. And really looking at quality of play and practice, practice, practice. And the thing is, you can practice bad habits forever and a day and be good at practicing bad habits. And if you're not wanting to improve, then that's fine. <clears throat> and you just enjoy throwing pieces about. If you want to improve, then you have to look at evaluating your moves, evaluating your own strategies. And basically, you, you want you coming out of the game. You don't want an old grandmaster from um, the year dot. You don't want their strategies coming in into your game. You want to play as you. Yes, learn from them, but it's now time for you to demonstrate your game, you, the way you play and your strategies. And the beginner, intermediate and advanced tutorial courses will help you to formulate your own way of thinking and your own way of delivering your chess play. Good games.